if I have to ask you a question that you might be uniquely qualified to answer. I've recently become addicted to lingonberry because they sell it at our Ikea. Is this really a thing? Is this something you grew up with? Absolutely. Lingonberries? Yeah. It's incredible. I love lingonberries. I eat them all the time. Okay. We the eat them like with oatmeal, but also with our meatballs. Like some, some lingonberries with your meatballs and some, some uh, pickles. And... Hey, nice to see you. Pleasure. We were talking, you. you said you know some people who don't want to watch their movies. Which side of the camp do you sit on? Do you enjoy some of your movies? Uh, well, I, I, yeah, I, I find it useful to watch them before I start doing press. Right. Because uh, so much is, at, when you wrap a movie, it's a year or so, roughly a year before the, between the wrap and, and the premiere. Right. And a lot can happen in, during editing. Mm -hmm. There's so many different ways you can shape a movie. Um, they drop scenes, they add stuff, they, with the, you know, the cut, the score and everything. So I find it quite helpful to just to get the tone of it and to remind myself of what we were shooting. Right. Because sometimes you're, you know, there's been three projects in between and so I, I, I try to watch before I, I, I do press. With this movie, there were probably... I haven't seen it with an audience. I just got a screener. I'm, I'm shooting out in Australia at the moment, so I watched it on my own out there. Yeah, well, be a good guy and take big boxes of tissue to pass down the aisles when you go see this movie. Yeah, well, I'm about to tonight. We have the premiere tonight so here in London, so I'm excited to see it with an audience. Yeah, I've got like two gallons of Visine in my eyes right now. Right. I'm still <laughs> weeping from this movie. Uh, it's so effective. It, it evokes pretty much every emotion possible, but definitely enthralls you. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Thank you. Do you have a favorite moment? Um, I, well, I think the buildup is very interesting. The um, the relationship between Stefan and, and Rachel, because um, there's so much tension. Rachel is Kara's character, obviously, sure. obviously, and I play Stefan, and how they meet and the the baggage, the the, the grief, the, the the sense of loss, and the animosity between the two in the beginning, and how that slowly starts to break down. Uh, when they realize that the other person is suffering the same loss as they are, and 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 uh, that's kind of how they start to connect. And I really enjoyed mapping that out with Kira and, and building that relationship, going from uh, enemies to kind of understanding each other and connecting with each other. Right. It's quite tragic and beautiful all at the same time. Yeah. It's it's. Um, they find solace in that, and uh, again, they desperately need someone to talk to. He's got, he lost his wife, his, his da daughter is estranged to him, she doesn't want to talk to him, she blames him for the loss. Um, and she, uh, she lost her son, and her husband, Jason's character, can't really open up and talk to her. So they're bo they both desperately need someone to communicate with, and, 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 uh, and, and they're there for each other. Uh, if you were to call someone, or if someone was saying, "Why should I see this film?" How would you answer that? I, to me, it felt very reading the script and 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 subsequently the the novel, which is which I highly recommend, by the way, sure. by Reading Brook. Um, it it was a de depiction of the war that or the aftermath of the war that I hadn't read before. Um, it because it avoids all the tropes. It it avoids the the stereotypes of good side versus bad side and. You know, we were all the good guys, and all the Germans were the evil guys. And it, you understand the the depth and the complexity and the suffering on both sides, um, and 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 how these broken individuals, uh, f you know, find humanity in in, in, in each other and in, in, in that connection. It really is remarkable. As we wrap it up, I have to ask you a question that you might be uniquely qualified to answer. I've recently become addicted to lingonberry because they sell it at our IKEA. Is this really a thing? Is this something you grew up with? Absolutely. Lingonberries? Yeah. It's incredible. I love lingonberries. I eat them all the time. Okay. We the eat them like with oatmeal, but also with our meatballs. Like some, some lingonberries with your meatballs and some, some uh, pickles. And... If I'm going to eat Swedish, I want to eat legit. Yeah. And now I know I am. Good to see you. <laughs> Good Thanks, see you, man. man. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe, turn on your notifications, and click right here to see more awesome videos. Do it right now. Popcorn for each time. More? Keep clicking. Good job.